Hello everybody, my name's Carolyn Zanetti. Today I'm interviewed by Prosper on the Digital Prosperity Show. We discuss many things, including how we can learn, laugh and grow together and really up-level all areas of our life. So can't wait to dive deep and share our amazing journey and tips with you today. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we've got none other than Caroline. Caroline, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing fabulous, Prosper. Thank you so much for the opportunity to join you and create magic together and inspire more people. Absolutely. I can't thank you enough and thank you for your time today. I know you could have been doing better things because you're on a mission to impact the lives of a million people worldwide. And you want them to choose greatness. You want them to live inspired. You want them to live purpose driven and you want them to have an abundant life. For that, I really, really commend your journey and um, you know, appreciate you know, where you are heading off with this. Now, tell us a little bit about your story and what got you to this position where you are on your journey to empower a million lives. Thanks, Prosper. Well, where do I start, hey? Um, I've had a colorful background and I really believe that life experience is what uh, brings you to where you are and is the best teacher. So I've lived seven years overseas in London and Dubai, traveled the world, experienced amazing cultural diversity and learnt a lot. My two main passions are wellness and personal development. And I'll give you a bit of background of how that came about. So I am from Western Australia in Perth. So how's it going fellow Perthites listening? Um, I grew up in Geraldton, four hours north, and have a beautiful relationship with my family. Uh, when I was four years old, I moved to Perth with my mum, and she looked after us and my four um, brothers and sisters. And she really taught me mental resilience from an early age, and also do unto others as well what you'd have them do unto you. And that really has shown up a lot throughout my life. And the more value you give, the more comes back. It's just a law of reciprocity or whatever you call it. And so my big passion is for nutrition and wellness and being the healthiest, happiest version of yourself and really tapping into your true potential. And so that led me to study naturopathy, which is really um upgrading all areas of your life in you know we look at breath hydration movement mindset nutrition etc etc so I really was passionate about why we get sick how can we uh get better and learnt all about the brain heart gut connection etc and that emotions that are suppress leads to illness and emotions that are expressed lead to wellness and so it's really passionate about wellness and being super healthy and happy and then i graduated from uni and i got my italian passport and jumped on a train a plane to london to see the world and have adventure and that was the best teacher you know, university in a textbook is great. You'd learn lots, but it's only really put into practice when you're in life experience. You know, I learned, um, you know, I was friends with all these different nationalities, learning from them, uh, different languages, how they communicate, just epic stuff that you wouldn't learn from your little nice, comfortable lifestyle in Perth. And it really... Um, learned that happiness is an inside job. You know, happiness comes w from within and it's not something you can be learnt so much. Um, and anyway, I had a lot of fun in London, travelled around Europe, worked in the Greek islands, made some epic friendships and came back to Perth uh, working as a naturopath and 
really helping people get aligned with their purpose and their wellness goals. And then I got itchy feet again. I was working a nine to five job and I wanted to be able to see America, Canada, as well as Europe. So in 2008, I landed a job with Emirates Airlines, which gave me a ticket to see the world for free. I literally got paid to travel the world, connect with epic humans. And that was a mental resilience on a whole new level. Literally, we moved to the other side of the world, knew nobody, lived in the desert and came together and learnt all about, uh, obviously, safety on an aircraft and all these other tips. But we would literally go to work with a community of people that you've never met before, work as a team and learn to tolerate different uh cultures and the way they uh, communicate and that's uh, that's super important you can't learn that in a normal job it's super com important like listening to each other communicating and yeah building that uh, community and trust so I learned a, a lot from that and I also yeah had the best holidays of my life um, it was definitely the best years of my life. And in the meantime, I also studied Bachelor of Health Science on my days off and, you know, partied and sat by the pool and lived the dream. And while I was there, it also transitioned into my, or ignited my passion for personal growth. I really, it fascinates me how the mind works and what we're really capable of creating. And how it happened is a passenger gave me the book Chicken Soup for the Soul by Jack Canfield. Yes, you've got that book, hey? <laughs> and then I, from there, I read the book The Success Principles and it was a game changer. I took it on all my layovers. The book actually doesn't have a cover anymore because it got used and abused and I loved it. And I really that was a catalyst for my growth anyway. So I was always searching for knowledge and applying it, learning to set smart goals, achievable goals. And I was just ticking, ticking things off. And uh, then I went to a Brian Tracy seminar in Dubai, learning more about how to achieve success and goal setting. And then I was turning 30 and I was like, Oh, I need to get my life back on track and need to go home and have my amazing relationship and um, start continually helping apply the knowledge that I've learned. And I moved back to Perth, knew exactly what I wanted in a job. But again, mental resilience, courage, through adversity and growth, that's how we learn. And I, it took me several months to get my ideal job. I would go for jobs and be number one or in the top three and wouldn't get the job. And I would cry and be like, my life's so hard. Why? If only they knew. They were like, oh, you don't have recent experience in the industry because you've been traveling the world. And I'm like, hello, I've you know, got life experience and the determination and everything. So what I learned is when things don't go to plan, it's because there's a better plan for you. So just be patient and take continued inspired action. And I landed a job as a superfood nutrition trainer for Bioglan. And it was amazing opportunity. I got a car, I got a laptop, I got thousands of dollars worth of superfoods every month to give out and I'm still friends with those colleagues today. I learned masters of sales training. It was a epic opportunity for me. And from there, um, as things turn out, I got more into um, personal development and growth and asking myself these curious questions. If I could do anything in the world, what would I like to do? because I'm a big believer in not just settling and cruising. And then it let, landed me at a Demartini workshop 
the breakthrough experience where I really got clear on my purpose and clear on my values, which is a game changer and really inspired me to step up and you know, really tap into my true potential. And I really wanted to inspire others that with, my journey is we can do whatever we put our mind to whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve as napoleon hill says so we are the number one person holding ourselves back what's the difference between those people that have achieved massive success and are living their dreams is they believed in themselves took the inspired action had faith and knowing that you know when you are living congruent with your highest values opportunities people align to set yourself up and then that inspires more people etc etc so it was an amazing journey for me and it led me to um you know i was in a position where i was like look i'm not truly fulfilled in that career working for somebody else and i started to do stuff on the side to get me closer to where i want to be I started wellness workshops stress on stress management and alkalizing your body. And um, I, it also, um, I started, I started a business online where I share um, the health principles of hydration and I also sell water filtration ionizers that basically this side business allowed me the confidence and the income and the resources and the community to be able to step up and have the confidence to go out on my own. And to the day that I was going to quit my job, I got a redundancy. So literally I was so stressed. And whenever I left my job to upgrade, um, I was physically um, sick as well. Like I got shingles just before I moved up to a state manager role because I knew I wasn't aligned with my values and that shows up physically. So it was amazing for me to learn all these things and put things together. And when you are truly doing what you love, the universe aligns. I got a redundancy. I was taught when you choose faith over fear, you're always provided for. And that's how you experience the biggest growth and inspire more people and really can contribute more, leave a ripple effect and live an inspiring life. And I guess a few other things happen between now and then and my entrepreneurial journey is definitely not all roses, but it's the most rewarding and fulfilling experience helping other people on their journey live the life they love and empowering them to yeah reach their true potential so thank you for the opportunity of sharing and correct yeah. stuff oh my god <clears throat> that is that is a whole big story and i really really appreciate you and thank you so much for sharing that little bit there. We might as well end the show there because there was, there was so much that you packed in. Um, I mean, maybe it's because you've been traveling a lot. Uh, now you know how to pack your whole life into a small suitcase. So you literally <laughs> managed to put that all in um, you know, a short segment of the show, which I really, really do appreciate. And um, what I really learned from what you were talking about is uh, there's a lot to do with um, also the values that we carry here um, on the show because um, I would like you to acknowledge this, uh, Caroline. People are put on this earth so that they can leave, then they can learn, and then they can contribute. All right? So you've lived the life. You've been learning from Dimitri, uh, from Jack Canfield, the success principle, all of that stuff that you were putting out there and, and you know, learning as you were going. And now is your chance to contribute, all right? And um, you've also mentioned a part of you having left the country, going somewhere else where mm -hmm. you knew no one um, and you didn't actually really care, but you knew the universe was gonna provide. A lot of us live in fear, all right? Mm -hmm. So none of what you've done is being 
you know, huddled in by fear or feeling, you know, inadequate about yourself. Can you just really e explain to the person that was listening to your story, first of all, what was inspiring you? And second of all, were you not afraid at all, leaving all that you know coming out totally. of your comfort zone? Totally, totally. I think uh, anyone that says that they don't, have fears is living in an illusion because it's the actual acknowledging acknowledging the fear but choosing faith over fear and number one it comes back to your relationship with yourself believing in yourself and i mean i was also brought up uh, believing in god and something greater than yourself that you will be uh, looked after and taken care of and at my 21st birthday uh, someone wrote in my card take risks with no regrets and you'll have a lot to talk about later in life. So I am the kind of person that feels the fear and leaps and knows and trusts that a net will appear, but not necessarily does it always go to plan, but I learn and I grow and that's where the magic happens out of your comfort zone where I can't even tell you how many times I've, I've definitely faced uh, stress, adversity, and now that's how why I can help other people in that situation because I understand it. And there's so many different things this comes down to, but taking extreme ownership for every for where you're at in life, and then it empowers you that you have the power to change your reality. You can create your reality with your beliefs your thoughts your the actions you take the choices we make on a daily basis you know when you're empowered with that it's i think a lot of people just don't have the clarity of where they want to go so when you get clear on your vision your mission your purpose it pulls you forward and makes you jump out of bed in the morning and and i'm a big believer in how you do anything is how you do everything so you know our morning routine is a is vital to help us uh, respond to stressful situations to yeah to be able to have the energy and the capacity to achieve more um a good friend of mine goes by the the mission be more do more give more so work on yourself do more for others and then you can contribute more so yeah again this has been part of my journey learning to value myself charge my worth and then be then be empowered to give back more and that's where the fulfillment lies in my opinion um yeah, hundred Understand, percent. Understandable. Thank you so much for putting that in. Um, for some weird reason, why you are talking about your friend who talks about learn more, give more, and do more? I had a visual of you doing the, um, you know, <laughs> once. Oh yes, the <laughs> flight attendant actions. Yes. Exactly, exactly. And in, um, you know, in in the process of uh, that whole uh, charade that they do, showing you where the exits are. They tell you to pull out the mask first for yourself before you help anybody else. So that's pretty much, you know, what you've just said there mm. in a nutshell in, in, in as much as, um, you know, if you are content within yourself, cause you can't give off of what you don't have. You know, I mean? so at the end of the day, your cup should be filled first, um, filled up first. Um, mm. And then you can, you know, be, do and have, um, you know, whatever it is that you really wish yeah. upon yourself. So in your path of contribution, you have started um, a high vibe tribe um, podcast where you yes. are helping people. <laughs> high vibes right there. You're helping people to actually cultivate their passion that is inside of them to conquer their fears, the ones we were talking about earlier, and to actually really minimize self-doubt. Okay, so we can't be like you, Caroline, that can just up and leave and go to some weird country and create amazing relationships and still come back in one piece. Um, a lot of people don't have that sort of courage within themselves, but you've already elaborated that, you know, a little bit earlier on. Um, but there is that connection. There is that 
you know, contribution that is out there. You touched on a little bit about it um, to say that's where fulfillment comes in. Isn't fulfillment me just going to work and doing my job and minding my own business and, you know, just making sure I'm not, you know, disturbing the peace around other people because some people don't quite get it. Great, great uh, point. I believe uh, we all have our own values and beliefs and it, every, it shows up different for every person. What is somebody's uh, purpose and mission is different for each individual. Some people don't want to create a podcast. Some people don't want to travel the world. Some people don't want to be parents. Some people, you know, so it's important to stay in your lane and really go after your own heart's desires and get clear on what it is you want to create. And that allows you the freedom, the true freedom to tap in and share your gifts with the world. And it shows up differently for everyone. So, Acknowledge that and appreciate that as well. And, you know, don't judge other people. They're all, we're all on our own mission. But with the podcast and other things I do, it's about having an uplifting, supportive community that has your back and encourages you in your growth to move forward and really up-level all areas of your life together. Yeah. Understandable. So that really, you know, circumvades to your um, quote that you quote from Napoleon Hill that says, whatever the mind can conceive, um, you know, and you can believe you can actually achieve it. So you took a journey around the world to yourself. For those people that cannot do that, what sort of advice can you give okay. them? in order for them to really reach out and, and, and discover themselves. Okay. Great, great uh, topic. So you don't have to, you know, like some people don't have the desire to leave Australia. That's fine. Whatever is your path, that's great. However, um, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. If you say you can't do that, that will be a reality. So we choose our reality. So on a daily basis, um, we have the internet. Guess what? Now there's no excuse. If you want a place to learn, you don't have to pay hex fees anymore. You can get onto free podcasts. You can get onto digital prosperity movement and learn how it's done from the masters, how to create abundance online, how to have the abundance mindset, which then allows you to be able to have more opportunities and impact more lives. So really, we all have a different path. I'm not saying that what I've chosen is right because, like I said, hello, I've had ups and downs and I own it. And there's no such thing as perfection. When One of the biggest things I've learned is get over your own, my own high expectations and the approval of others and share your gifts and message with the world and that is what, you know, sets you free and gives you the freedom to really uh, live in alignment and love what you do every day and epic opportunities show up. I can't even tell you, when I left that job, I got the redundancy. I had people offering me um, free wellness stands at Expos to get my product and my story out. I got free tickets to Tony Roberts, free tickets to Martini, free opportunities because people believed in you. You you showed up scared shitless and not knowing what to do, but just knowing that something good's going to happen and people support you. And if I could, you know, if people could leave empowered from this, it's just that, you know, you have everything within you now, believe in yourself, trust yourself, get clear on what you want and where you want to go and take daily action to get there and then reward yourself for, um, every little win you know you don't have to be and this is a big thing for me as, as well I just want to be there I want to be an author I want to be having uh, worldwide retreats I want to be making massive impact and that's great and I will and I am doing that but enjoy every step of the journey because otherwise if you don't appreciate where you're at now you're not going to appreciate it when you get there um, and you know, we, we've got similar values and I'm sure, you know, you've got a big smile on your face. You know, this creating magic and another big thing is asking for help. 
having mentors, having um, mastermind groups where you can learn from other people and get to where you want to be faster. And, I mean, I'm sure you agree that's a game changer. Absolutely. Because we, like we said, we're here to learn. We're here. I mean, we're here to live. We're here to learn and we're here to contribute. But main thing that we learn from is usually our own failures and mistakes. All right. But we can't commit all the mistakes in the lifetime that we have. So some people have already done that. We can always learn from them. Okay. Great stuff. Obviously, maybe you've lit up a fire uh, in somebody's belly right now and they're really sitting at the edge of their seats there, Caroline, and they want to find out more about how they can be more and be abundant, have that limitless courage and have that co- co- connection and also contribution that you keep referring back to. How can people get a hold of you, um, you know, so that they can learn from you there, Caroline? Thank you so much, Prosper. Um, the best place is carolynzanetti.com, uh, K-A-R-O-L-Y-N-Z-I-N-E-T-T-I.com. I have a link to my podcast. It's not the best website, but you know what? It's got uh, it's got all you need there. It talks about my retreats that I run, my podcast, and I have some wellness journals and naturopathy consults and stuff available there. I really am uh, creating an online community where we can come together and and give value and share from each other and have the accountability and support to get to where we want to be quicker. And that's really the vision for the podcast is to empower more people and, you know, encourage each other that we literally can live the life we love. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you so much for creating that and also availing, um, you know, an opportunity for our audience to be a part of, your amazing creation there. Now, before I let you off, I know you obviously have quite a lot that you would have wanted to impart on us, um, but obviously due to time constraints, the little that we have, I'm going to treasure and cherish. Is there any sort of last words that you can have um, or you can leave, um, you know, with us just to uplift, um, you know, the audience and help them or support them and just really cultivate the passion that's inside of them right now? Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, firstly, be grateful for where you are now because that's exactly where you need to be and you have everything within you now. So trust and believe in yourself and take daily inspired action. Um, We can leave a link to how they can get clear on their values and purpose so they can take the inspired action and set their daily intentions so that they can be living the life that they love and that they deserve and really inspiring each other that we can be the best version of ourselves. And we don't have to do it alone. You become like those you surround yourself with. So today choose to surround yourself with people that lift you higher and the beautiful amazing content that is available online like both of our online platforms to inspire each other to be the best version of ourselves absolutely well i can't thank you enough first of all for your story your love and your expertise that you just dropped on this episode here clearly this is going to be one of our best episodes and if you're (laughs) watching this right now Um, You don't want to miss out on content like this. Please subscribe to the channel so you too can be inspired, first of all, to conquer your fears and just really limit your self-doubt so you can soar and actually be, do and have, you know, first maybe a happier existence or a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, Carolyn, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to a greater good and really empowering people and giving other people a voice to share their message so that we can all benefit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that.